It's time for your TLC Hiking Club bi-monthly vid clip, folks. I guess it is. It's been April 28th since the last time I was on here, so let's get right into it. Let's recap what we've done since uh, we've been on here. We've started the Summer Fun Series, um, six-part Summer Fun Series. So uh, for those of you who have missed the first couple parts, um, shame on you because you're missing some fantastic hikes here in the state of Arizona. Part one was Finger Rock Guard, uh, which is a very popular rock formation in the Tucson area. It's not that long of a hike. I thought we'd have more people that would show up for it. But anyhow, people are people, so why should it be that you should RSVP for the hike and then cancel in the last minute? Maybe we should make that a song. Anyhow, moving right into it. Part two um, was the Hell's Gate Wilderness Hike. So and what a fantastic place that ended up being uh, at the confluence of Hagler Creek and Tonto Creek in the Hell's Gate Wilderness area, which is on the Mogian Rim east of Payson. Uh, that ended up being a, a pretty decent grind coming out of there. We had a good swim, nice waterfall down in the gate, what they call the gate within Hell's Gate. Uh, which is basically a slot canyon filled with water, nice swimming, etc., etc. Fantastic scenery. Uh, great group of people that went that day. We had a decent show up uh, showing. Um, moving onward, uh, we did do the Cathedral Rock Hike in Tucson, not to be confused with the one in Sedona. The one in Tucson is probably one of the hardest hikes that somebody can do in the state of Arizona. Day hikes, okay? Keep that in mind, day hikes. Um, you know, these, these people that will take two or three days to complete 50 miles, that's a, it's a, that's a whole different, you know, venue, right? We do ultra dayers, uh, banging everything out in one day, uh, type of thing is what we do. So Cathedral Rock ended up just coming in under 20, uh, 20 miles. Uh, I think it was like 6K in a cumulative gain. And the hardest part of it, I think, was once you made way from the saddle to the actual summit, you left trail and you were bushwhacking, boulder hopping, uh, crazy grind of that last one mile. It was uh, over a 1,000 feet in elevation gain in that last one mile to make to the summit. Then you're rope climbing up there. Then there was some exposure to get, get to the last rock that was the actual summit. Uh, quite the adventure. I know a number of people that have attempted that hike that make it to the saddle, and that's where they call it, man. They're not going any further. Um, and I can understand why, because that is no joke, dude. So uh, if you want to put a bucket lister, if you will, as far as some of the hardest hikes in the state of Arizona on your list, that is one of them. That will make the ridgeline out in the superstitions a cakewalk. Flat iron, cakewalk compared to Cathedral Rock in Tucson. Anyhow, moving onward, um, getting prepared for this coming weekend, which is the Chiricahua Wilderness, uh, the Sky Island Traverse. We're bagging uh, five summits uh, on the same hike that day. Those five summits are in the top 20 highest summits in the state of Arizona. Uh, we're gonna, we won't be below 8,700 feet in elevation. So, it, you know, I don't think it's going to be as bad as what some people thought it was going to be because we're going to be between 87 to 9,700 feet the entire day. We're not dropping below 8,700 feet in elevation. Um, I still think we're probably going to put on some some decent accumulative gain for the entire day, probably about 22 miles in mileage uh, for that entire day. But we're going to be in cool temps, bear country. Um, so can't wait to have that uh, take place this weekend. The next part of the Summer Fun Series, Part 4 or 6, is Ash Creek Falls, Web Peak. Now this weekend, guys, uh, I look, I wouldn't miss it if I were you. There's only 18 people signed up at this point. But look, here, check this out. Ash Creek Falls. Google it. If you've never heard of Google it, okay? This is one of those waterfalls in the state of Arizona that is underestimated. Why? Is because nobody goes out here to this area. It's a little bit of an infrastructure issue, three, three and a half mi uh, hours of driving. But that's why we're staying in Safford. Some people are camping, some people are getting a hotel room. Uh, either way, uh, Ash Creek Falls. 
phenomenal. And if there's anything that you guys know should know about me, I know where the water holes and the swimming holes, the cliff jumps, and the waterfalls are in this state. I know where they are. I can find them. You will not be disappointed if you, excuse me, if you come on this hike this that weekend, which is in July the 17th. Uh, that that weekend, uh, we're gonna bang out Ash Creek Falls, but we're also doing Webb Peak, Helio Peak, and Clark Peak, which is another three peaks on the top 20 peaks in the state of Arizona. We're gonna bag bang them out. Uh, Webb Peak, Helio Peak, and Clark Peak—they're all small hikes, like little four milers, five milers at the most, type of thing. So it's not that bad. Um, more, m a lot of people can do these things, uh, or that particular weekend, I should say, because they're not long hikes. They're not grueling 25 milers with 8K in elevation that I'm going to, you know, I'm going to grind you out. So, uh, you know, with that being said, there's the phone going off. Uh, anyhow, so I encourage you to, you know, come out for that weekend. You, you won't be disappointed. Um, after that is the part five of the summer fun series, which takes us the, to the LA area. And I'll probably have a, uh, a vid post prior to that in the event that I don't check this out. Part five is the bridge to nowhere. That's the bungee jumping. We're going to be bungee jumping that weekend. We're going to be hiking to the Hollywood sign. Look, that weekend is another Pinnacle weekend, one of those weekends I would not miss if I were you. The Bridge to Nowhere, phenomenal hike. Uh, Google it if you've never heard about it, or click on the links that are on the site and learn more about it from there. Uh, but we're going to be bungee jumping. That's optional, obviously. Uh, hiking to that Hollywood sign, the famous Hollywood sign. So that's going to be part five of six of the Summer Fun series. Look, man, don't miss these these hikes, you know, the, especially the Summer Fun Series. I encourage you all to get out there um, and do yourself some justice. Don't underestimate yourself, okay? Some of the, some folks have, have recently started doing that, underestimating their abilities, in my opinion, because I know that you've done some pretty strenuous hikes with us before. And if you hiked with us before, you know that there's always a, a plethora of different pace groups, right? We don't expect you to be in the alpha lead pace group. If you can, that's great. Kudos to you. But there are several pace groups from moderate to slower. And as long as you can keep up with the slowest pace group, right, you're fine. So keep that in mind, guys. You know, I think some of you guys are starting to underestimate your abilities just because you don't come in at the, in the lead pace group. You need to forget about that. Additionally, don't be... Uh, RSVPing for these events and then pulling yourself off for a bullshit reason in the 11th hour. Look, some reasons are legitimate. I get that. Last minute surprises, we have families, we have careers, and, and only you, you know if the excuse is completely legitimate or not. But you know as well as I do that most of the, the excuses are, are bullshit. Um, they're not legitimate, you know, how, and all, look, you're only, you're only tricking yourself. So, and I, I say this to encourage you because I, I understand humans, they will, if you'll find a way to, to talk yourself out of something, if you don't want to go, you'll, you will make that excuse a justifiable reason. And if you were to put that out to your peers, and ask your peer, ask your peers for an honest to goodness feedback. Do you think that's a legitimate reason? Most of the times they're going to say, "No, dude, that's that's not a legitimate reason. That's bullshit." Get your ass out of bed, get in the car. I know it's early, and make the hike, okay? Because you won't be disappointed afterwards. You you know that. So just trying to speak a little bit of encouragement into you on a, more of a truthful and not a pampering type of sensitivity. Uh, type of forum, a um, little bit more in your face. Look, enough of the excuses. You know, push yourself through it, persevere, get out there, and just do it, like Nike says. Peace. We'll see you.